This week on Dumb Pitches, my guest is Zoltan Cassis, and he shares with us a script idea about a nice pimp. <laughs> it's very sweet. It's great. Uh, it's it's not a good idea, though. It's really not a good idea. Uh, it's a fantastic episode, though. I can promise you that. So here we go. What a bunch of dumb pitches. Oh, I- Welcome to another episode of Dumb Pitches with Monica Nevy. Our small business sponsor this week is Seeds and Steez. It is a woman black owned business that believes that knowledge and accessibility to plants should be available to everybody. So you can go on their website and order plants, but there's also consultations, maintenance, and actually they have this new uh, product that is a basketball backboard that holds a plant and I already ordered one. It's incredible. Um, Seeds and Steez, if you need help with your plants or you need some plants, check it out, seedsandsteez.com. Okay, here we go. Episode getting started. Welcome my guest, Zoltan Cassis. Hey, Hey. what's up? I just went full bore right there. I was in the (laughs) middle of the text and I'm like, we're on now. What's up, uh, America number one? (laughs) How's it going, Monica? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, up, I got a little coffee in my system. I'm, <laughs> I'm alive. It's yeah. a good day. It's a good day. Well, I'm excited. We had actually talked about this when I first started the show, and you were moving homes, so we waited a little bit yeah. to do this episode. So I've been thinking about it for months now. Um, I'm excited. I, I have too. Uh, <laughs> that that was the longest move of my life. Um, my girlfriend and I were moving in together, but my lease was up like a month before hers. Oh wow! Yeah. So then I moved in and then slowly helped her move in. And then so it took two months to (laughs) To move in. Yeah, Uh, but we're all settled now. I was going to say congratulations. That's really dragging it out. I mean, yeah, I got engaged this year and we you couldn't go to like restaurants and stuff. So literally until we get married, we're just telling them we just got engaged. So (laughs) yeah, Yeah, this year has been a pause. It's been uh, 2020 (laughs) was a long weekend. Yeah, (laughs) a very long, very long weekend. Uh, okay so we like to give our guests some credibility before we get into your bad ideas so people know (laughs) that you've had (laughs) some good ideas at some point so uh you have a dry bar comedy special that's millions of views you have a podcast called this week in zoltan uh you have two youtube hours you did an hour uh special that you put on youtube one's called modern mail that has two million views over two million views which is impressive and then the newest one is called dancing with drunks is that correct dancing with yeah drunks. yeah that yeah. was one i filmed back in 2016 with ruben i think i remember I, that we were yeah and i never released it and then i was like what am i doing and so i just put it out that's yeah. great well yeah so there's plenty of great stand-up to see that you can find and podcasts and all that good stuff. You also won the Seattle International Comedy Competition, which is how we met because I didn't even make it to the finals. So (laughs) (laughs) you, uh, it was your living room floor. You were living with Cameron (laughs) at the time. And Dave Merhej and I are still friends to this day. I'm still friends with a lot of the people I met in that competition, but him especially because we slept together on your frozen floor in the living room. (laughs) I barely knew this man. We were like almost spooning just for heat. I don't heat. even know what, like, I mean, it wasn't, <laughs> you had stayed somewhere else for a really long time and you felt like, yeah. cause that competition is like a month. It's if you make yeah. it all the way to the end, which you did, obviously it's yeah. a whole month. And so you were staying somewhere else and you felt like maybe you'd outstayed your welcome. So we were like, yeah, come and stay. We lived in a basement that had been remodeled into a two bedroom that was shaped super weird. And there wasn't, mm-hmm. there was like, you know, the just the heaters that's in the door wasn't like base heating or anything like that and so i don't even know what happened cameron didn't even give you blankets and stuff like i don't know and i came home and both of them are next to the (laughs) the one little heater like this just right next to each other and i was like that looks so uncomfortable and horrible like what so it got you like what i had like one blanket too you know i had one 
like basketball play that wasn't even comfortable but i was like here <laughs> yeah yeah you were the one that showed some hospitality uh <laughs> hospitality hospitality <laughs> <laughs> i told you i just woke up 30 minutes ago i wasn't kidding at I least was... you got it you were like you know what we're yeah, going i'm like that it. that's definitely not right um <laughs> but yeah there was something about it you guys had a fireplace in the living room and just cold air would blow yeah, through it was not and a it working was right on our heads and uh, so we were very close in a little space heater. Um, but yeah, it was very nice. I was the one that pointed out to Dave that I think we were overstaying our welcome at Ruben's place. Oh, was it Ruben? That's funny. Dave, bless his heart, I don't think he was picking up on that at all. He's like, or maybe I'm too sensitive about it. Like someone like avoids eye contact with me for a second. I'm like, they hate like us. Like you're we mad at leave. me. We have to leave. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if he wasn't reading into it or I was reading into it more than I should have. But I was like, I think we're overstaying our welcome. Let's go. Let's go sleep on a floor. Let's go Amen. sleep where there's no heat. Yeah. So I maybe yeah. that jolted your system a little bit. So that's why you won. I take credit for your win. <laughs> you know what? Dave and I both went to the finals, so I think that's yeah, what I think that's what go. did it. Is it's like a isn't it like that that uh, that douche Gary Vanderchuk is like wake up four hours of sleep, take a cold shower. Like that yeah, was our cold right. shower. Oh, morning. I was thinking about that. Then we're just a little bit going here, but uh, I saw some movie where the dad had taught the kid to take a cold shower and then like shadow box because <laughs> <laughs> if you got stabbed, you could keep fighting for like 30 seconds afterwards based on this and then later the dad's wow. like i was drunk i don't even know that's not true you know um, but i think yeah, about that, that in the like shower like a lot yeah. <laughs> okay all right so i get i've laid it out for you um bad ideas what what did you come up with for your bad ideas i was thinking about this one this one i've never told anyone because it's actually really embarrassing so Tom i was young <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was I was young. I had just moved to LA. I think I was twenty, maybe twenty one. I'd been doing comedy for a year or two, and I was doing some like bringer show at the comedy store. And after the show, this lady came up and gave me her business card, and she worked at ICM, which is a really uh, reputable agency in LA. <laughs> and she's like, if you have any scripts, or because uh, she she like represented you know writing. Oh, you know, okay, literary. Yeah. yeah. Literary agent, and yeah. so she's like, if you have any scripts or anything, send them my way. I, I really enjoyed your stand up. And I took that as to mean I have to write a script tonight oh, no. and send it to her <laughs> in the morning. Oh, my so God. So I stayed up all night. I wrote 13 pages uh, about about a, uh, about a pimp who had uh, less than attractive sex workers. I don't know what the common terms are now. <laughs> this is. <laughs> like I don't I don't mean to like cancel myself but this is like 2007 right and this I is I mean it was acceptable then but I think it was it seems like layers of bad ideas so far so I don't oh, know yeah, if we can already, blame you yeah yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah there's a pimp he has less than attractive sex workers he's very kind to them but he wants everyone to make money so they, he decides to market them to the blind and this is what I came up with and I wrote 13 pages. I sent it to her the next day. And like two days later, she's like, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I can do with this. And I'm like, the fact that she even responded to that hot garbage. Uh, I wish there was someone in my life at that early age of comedy that was like, you can just don't, hold on yeah, to this don't context. Don't do that. Yeah, don't. Yeah, you don't have to send this right, right send now. Send her something when you're ready. Yeah, any young comics that are watching, if somebody gives you their card, you don't have to send them anything right away. <laughs> no, you can come up with something better you That's, know, take your time well and i mean I, I i know a little bit about your background but most people say you know write what you know and i like that your first <laughs> your first instinct was like what if a pimp had ugly <laughs> hookers <laughs> like i don't know <laughs> so but he was bad. nice but he was nice you know like I, I think the reason it was in my head is i had met a real pimp that like that week okay. i did a show at the improv olympics which i don't even think is around anymore in la yeah but um i came out of it and there was a, a dude in a gold cadillac in a green <laughs> suit in the passenger side of like a mid-90s gold cadillac and he was very polite to me he walked i walked out and he goes hey man how are you doing and i'm like i'm doing good you know it's <laughs> like like friendliness in los angeles is very rare like right. when someone so you're yeah. like, what do you, what do you want? 
Yeah. What's and I, I didn't take it that way. I took it very innocently. Like, hi, <laughs> thanks. <I'm doing laughs> Finally, good. someone's nice. Hey. <laughs> yeah. And he, he goes, do you want some weed? And at the time I wasn't smoking any weed. I was like, oh, no, thank you. And he goes, you want some Coke? And I'm like, no, I'm all right. And he goes, you want some pussy? And I'm like, no, no, thank you. And he goes, <laughs> you have a great day. And I'm like, you have a great day. And then we walked and then that was still in my head. Just that he, you're like, like that was great customer service based yeah. on what I've heard about, you know, being propositioned like that. Yeah, he was very nice. Yeah. yeah, he was so friendly. And I, I assumed falsely, I'm sure that he was nice to like his, his the women he worked with. Mm. And then, so that was in my head. And then this lady, then I, then I met the lady with, at ICM who's like, uh, do you have any scripts? And I'm like, I just met a man. <laughs> <laughs> that I think I can write 13 pages about. Um, Is that was, the first moment you considered like writing something about it? Or right after you had the experience with the, the gentleman, did you go, oh, that's kind of an interesting story, you know? Or were you just like, uh, let me scramble my brain here? <laughs> yeah, I was just scrambling. It was it was just fresh in my brain because it happened, I think it was that week. So it was just a couple days before. <laughs> And then I was going to talk about it on stage. And then uh, I was like, why not write a horrible script idea that's not even 13 pages, man? Like, what? Right. You know those 13 minute movies yeah, I was that everyone say, keeps hearing about? It's not long enough for any. I mean, you're like, it's a short film. Uh, it's a very short so, film. was it where, was the intention for it to be a pilot episode or was it a, a movie? <laughs> I, I wish I could even remember. Just to save <laughs> myself the embarrassment, I'm going to go. It was a, it was a, it was a short. It was it was supposed to be a short. It was a short. Okay. <laughs> and was it just explaining? Like I'm like I'm interested in the plot points a little bit of like, was it just explaining that he is nice, or was yeah. like there more of a, you know, was there more of a twist? No, there more wasn't of more twist. of a twist. There was like, uh, how are we gonna figure this out? And then they're like, those people are blind. Let's figure this out. And. <laughs> Good lord! Like, what a horrible idea. Like, that's why you know how like you see some comedians get success when they're super young, mm -hmm. and then and then you, sometimes people question themselves, like, well, why didn't I get success when I was twenty? <laughs> You're like, no, I know, I know why. Yeah, I I knew then. I I I've known the whole time why I haven't been successful until later. <laughs> like, it, it took a while, you know, to just learn to be yourself and talk about things that you actually know as opposed to just rambling on about nonsense that you've never experienced right which is uh, probably why people get tripped up with the cancel culture a little bit because you're like i'll talk about sex workers and you're like oh do you right. have experience with that and you're like not at all no nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally only ever said no one time that was it <laughs> right and then i mean that also goes to i just felt old uh telling that story <laughs> because i was as i was saying it i'm like what's the words today for right yeah what are and we I saying to, like it, that's why i said it so slowly i was like uh you know his uh the women he worked with <laughs> right you're not old man enough to be like ah, i don't know we called them hookers you know like you're just like ah, you kids are too sensitive yeah, <laughs> yeah man, I, don't, I just i want to i want to say all the good words but i forget them you know? <laughs> that is true that's how i feel about my father like he has good intentions but he's like i don't know the little gay one and then you have to be like oh okay yeah, yeah i know no, you're talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, stop no, no, but no. okay um, <laughs> okay i like <laughs> so and it was a uh, comedy obviously. yeah yeah yes. it was a comedy and i don't remember much about the script other than it ended with the ensemble dance <laughs> so somehow <laughs> There was a conflict, and then somewhere around page 12 or 13, I'm assuming, Okay. Uh, there was a big dance sequence where everybody just started dancing, and, and then credits. And that was and the then, end. And the, the end. It was a happy story. Were you? Yeah, I mean, it sounds... well. And this is the problem we have with this show, is like, sometimes you go, yeah, that is a terrible idea, but I kind of want to see it, you know? Like, I would want to see it. <laughs> but if it's a I, musical I, about... <laughs> <laughs> right. A pimp that has less than attractive uh, sex workers, which I think is interesting because I don't think anyone goes, oh, those sex workers are super attractive. You know, like the, the what you see in movies already right. is always, you know, like she's I've smoked cigarettes forever and that type of thing. And I like how you were like, well, I think they want to be pretty, you know, so let me... <laughs> <laughs> But every other movie's like, oh, she's terrible and 
Right. I think it was only Pretty Woman that because Julia Roberts. I think I think every other movie you you pretty much spot on. Yeah. There's, there's not a whole other. See, you might be onto something here. Uh, yeah. What is I I would like to see this thing become a play, you know, maybe like community theater. Yeah. And, <laughs> and we could just, you know, everyone can bring their friends and family to show them this be, uh, this a, masterpiece. Family yeah. friendly. Bring your kids. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I <laughs> I feel like you have the idea of him being nice in this and and then then maybe not being as attractive, and so it. The way you described it, it sounded like towards you'd already written some when you decided that the patrons were going to be blind. Is yes. that what happened? So that wasn't in the beginning. You were like, no, he was like struggling. So this is pretty much. Oh, like so it's kind of his wild. idea to then market yeah, he was them. Struck to... with it, he was like, "Eureka!" <laughs> you know, uh, he saw a man shuffling down the street with a stick, and he's like, "That guy," you know, he needs everyone needs love. Um, so like the, pretty much the, the movie is if, like, if you've ever seen bad news bears, I mean this, he is the, ba- him and his group of women are the bad news bears oh, of the sex industry. Of the sex industry. And okay. They're trying to find some wins, you know, <laughs> and then, you know, he figures out a way to do it. This, I mean, that's a pretty good like elevator pitch there. You're like, and the twist, I, you got to find out how he figures out everybody needs love. <laughs> I worked on that script for like six hours, so, you know, I really thought about it. <laughs> like, I ran home. I ran to my apartment in, in Culver City, and then just, I was like, I, I remember, like, clearing the table, and then, like, this I brought the it. laptop up. <laughs> and then I'm like, you know, couldn't write a script. I, it wasn't even in a proper format. Not like that would have helped, but it was just, just like, a Word document of just, like... Yeah, it was just a Word document, <laughs> everything. You know, there's no action. It's Had just you... A, yeah, right. It's just words. You're like... It's just words. We don't know yeah. where they are, what they're doing, nothing. They're no. just talking. Um, had you ever written a script at all before that? Absolutely not. And it showed. Like, it, it, it very much showed. I do. Like, I just... I came home... And I was so excited that someone that worked in any sort of industry thought my stand-up was it's... worthwhile to even hand a business card to. And then I'm like, well, I can't let this opportunity pass through my fingers. You gotta, you know that Jump stupid on. quote. You gotta, you you may, you miss all the shots you don't take. Yeah, I literally that was have one a worth poster. missing. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, that was That's a warm-up. I you think. Passed it, to, <laughs> you passed it to the you star. You passed it. Somebody else yeah. was open. Um, <laughs> It was so bad. But yeah, it, what a, what a, a, a you know a lesson learned. What would what was it called? <laughs> Sorry. What was what it was called? The name yeah. Of it? Do you remember the name? I actually don't. Okay. It's probably called like Super Pimp or something. <laughs> something no. super. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, something, no. Nothing meaningful. Yeah. Like love is blind or something. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't smart enough then or now to come up with anything like that. <laughs> I could have lied and just said any title. And even now, I was like, I have no idea. What that was. <laughs> That's true. You could have made it up right then. Oh, yeah, I could have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I think that it plays into the, like, we're told so much about being in L.A. or being comedians or being in the industry or whatever. And it's it's all very secretive and um, mysterious, you know. So, of course, yeah. you thought, like, well, I've kind of heard some things about this, but not enough for anyone to have told you, like, hey, you don't like you should think about something first and take your time. You know, you don't need to tell them tomorrow. I mean, yeah, I've always felt like I've lost some opportunities because maybe I took too long to reach out or I get really nervous. Like if that happened to me, I just probably wouldn't have ever sent anything. <laughs> um, but I get very nervous about it. And so there's a there's a mid ground that is, you know, what you're supposed to do, which is have something prepared in a timely amount of time, remind them how they met you, whatever. And then, you know, present you don't wait three years like me. And (laughs) and you also don't (laughs) write something in six hours. (laughs) You know, I just realized as I was telling the story, how sad it was that in six hours, all I came up was with 13. (laughs) Did you take breaks? Were you getting tired? Like, what do you I just. I don't even remember drinking coffee because I didn't drink coffee when I was 21. I mean, just to give you an idea how emotionally young I was at 21, I didn't even drink coffee until I was like 25. So I just (laughs) somehow stayed up from, I don't know, midnight to 6 a.m. until I sent the email like a jackass. 
and then slept the rest of the day. And how did you feel after you sent it? Did you feel like this was a good idea? This is what happens sometimes on this show. You're like, no, I was convinced I knew what I was doing, you know, or you're like, no, I didn't feel good about it. And I just sent it anyways, you know. That's, I guess that's probably the most embarrassing part. I was pretty pumped about it. I was like, <laughs> like you know, for six hours, and I was pretty good. And I should have mentioned that in the email. Like, yeah, hey, I, I worked on this in six hours. So, you know. <laughs> you should, yeah. I just came up with this last night. Yeah, you grade know, this on a curve, please. That would, well, yeah, because then she Because <laughs> then she probably read it like, this is something he's had and waited yeah. to, to give out, you know. And yeah, she has no idea that. I mean, maybe she would have guessed like, well, this seems rushed, but I don't know. Because um, <laughs> at, at it could be a sketch, you know. But I like the in thirteen pages is such a random amount of pages. I feel like because yeah. it, it's not quite a pilot. It's not you know like it's is this a TV show? Is this a short film? What is? It? It's, very it's really not anything like thirteen pages. It wasn't even like I was trying to get to 13 pages. I was just like, wow, I really told the story. That was, 13 pages. Yeah. <laughs> that was that's... the other part. Is like, why 13? You were like, and made it. It was just, you felt like the musical number was the end. And yeah. I'm like, what do you do after the musical? I think that's the. It's hard to know, follow music. Letters. We all know that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's sad? I don't even know if it was 13 full pages. What if it was like 12 and a half? It's 12 and a half. It's double spaced. Like <laughs> the end, right in the middle of the page. <laughs> What was, I guess, that's the, the dance is just, do you remember what that was in response? Were they just all dancing together randomly? Was it, it I mean. I, I think there was a villain pimp and oh. they were feuding and somehow they overcame their obstacles and then it ended with a big dance ensemble. Like the heroes so- have won and kind of like the end of Greece you know okay. and they just like they're in the thing i need a man and then they're like flying <laughs> into the into the sky i think that i think that's what, what it was and is it is it just the the good pimp and his uh, crew or is it have they have they made amends between him and the villain pimp? <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe yeah I, I believe it was really amicable like there wasn't a big fight or a shootout they almost like worked out an agreement and then, like, it was like a handshake. So there wasn't even any, like, big rising action or anything. They were just like, It was just okay. kind of like, it was very diplomatic. It was very diplomatic war. And then they just figured it out. And then at the end, they danced. Right. It was, it was like, you take all the blind clientele, and mm-hmm. I will take the, the seeing clientele. And now we're good. Yeah. And then we run, <laughs> we run the world. Yeah. as far as sex work goes. I do have to say that this is very much uh, like you. Like you're Ever since I've met you, you're very nice, so I like that the story is like, it's a nice story, you know? Like, yeah. it's like everyone's happy and no one gets hurt, and no, you know? <laughs> Even though it's <laughs> exactly. about, like, a, a, a rather dangerous industry, you know, notoriously, and so <laughs> you're like, no, 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 but what if it was nice? <laughs> Right, I that's I get that's that is pretty true. That is kind of how I look at everything. But yeah, because I, I met that one pimp, and I'm like, man, that guy's friendly, and I'm sure he was mean to the women. But somewhere in the back of my head, I was like, I hope he isn't. And uh, if he wasn't, that'd be pretty cool. That's a story that's never been told. It's like a nice one, <laughs> the just nice a really pimp. friendly that's one. What the... <laughs> Casper the friendly pimp. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Uh, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful story. I feel like, okay, so in the comments we always ask, like, is this a bad idea or not? Like, would you, if this, I mean, what do we say? Short film, I guess. If this short yeah. film was created, would you watch it? Would it have as many views as Zoltan's uh, YouTube? <laughs> I, I actually wanted to ask you, because how many episodes have you done? This is nine. Nine? Okay, so that's a good amount. Is that the worst idea you've had on the show? Um, I mean, it's definitely the worst, like, writing. Like, it's, um, because, yeah. yeah. no, n- we haven't had a ton of, which I'm actually excited about, uh, we haven't had any other scripts, so I can't really compare you to that. Um, I've had a lot of, like, business ideas and then some really personal stories of, like, um, you know, relationships that have maybe weren't the best idea and stuff like that. So it's hard right. to compare 
it's definitely the worst writing we've heard for sure hell yeah um, <laughs> i just didn't want to be like third worst you know no. well we're gonna do a behind the scenes episode today of a script that i had an idea for so we'll we'll let people vote who've seen that one which one <laughs> which one they rather which watch one's, which one's actually worse <laughs> yeah exactly i mean that's a fair question so but would you watch it the nice pimp the super nice pimp what did you call it i don't know we don't know what the name is i think but... we call it i think i call it super pimp super but pimp but did he have powers no he was just so <laughs> kind he, he had the power of heart Friendship remember the uh so if you watch captain planet the guy who had the heart ring yeah that he was just him. like shot love, you know. Shot love. That was, that's could be a yeah. That's sex workers as well, right? It's true. Shooting yeah. love. Um, that's okay. So this is just the <laughs> the Captain Planet heart ring character when he grows up. This is his. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is what he became. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so would yeah, would you watch it? That's what I think. Yes, he would. If the next thing that pops up that uh, Zoltan has uploaded to his YouTube is What's this? this is a super nice pimp. Would you watch it? <laughs> I mean, oh. I like, th- she just said that I don't know what I can do with this. That's all that her response yeah, was. I, or... I believe that was the, she was very kind. Like she could have just been like, are you, what? Right. But she didn't, I believe, I'm sure I could actually find the email. But I believe it was like paraf- it was somewhere along the lines of like I, I can't really do anything with this. <laughs> that is really nice. And I think honestly. she might have ended it nice. Like if you have other ideas, let me know. But I didn't. I might have mm-hmm. just put that in my head because I like to sugarcoat everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I, I think she didn't. She wasn't mean about it. I don't remember that. I think. I mean, if you read that, I, you would probably go. Okay, this person hasn't written much before, so maybe I'm trying not to completely crush his dreams. Do you think she showed yeah. it around the office, though? <laughs> yeah, but it's kind of so like when a, a newer comedian comes up to you and they're like, do you have any tips? And you just watch them bomb, right? right. And they're, you're really grasping at straws for something positive. Yeah, right. And you could very easily look them in the eyes and go, that was the worst thing I've ever seen. You should you should really uh, you should go quit. for another That's my line. tip. You should quit. <laughs> yeah, you should quit. <laughs> But I don't have the heart to do that, and right. I don't think most people do. So they're like, well, you just got to keep working at it, man. You just got to keep, you know, do more reps. Yeah. And uh, Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. She's like, you know, if you have another idea, like maybe write something else. Try try again, you know. Keep trying. Keep, keep doing you, boo. She was very <laughs> nice about it. Oh, that's hilarious. And I, I, I mean, it's up there. Maybe we'll do a, a poll on that too. Which who's had the the worst idea so far? <laughs> that, yeah, I'd be shocked if that didn't win. I, I mean, it's really bad. Like, th- I kind of I don't know if you've gotten old enough to look back at your life to go like I don't even know who that person was. Yeah, no, oftentimes, yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah. so like me at twenty one, I'm thirty three now, going on thirty four this year, and then me at twenty twenty one, I'm like, who was that person? Right. Okay. Like, I I think I knew him. <laughs> But I don't. I, it almost seems like a brother I haven't talked to in 15 years. Sometimes That's what I, it feels. sometimes I have dreams about things that had happened to me when I was around that, you know, 20, 21 or whatever. And then I talk to my younger self. Like it happens. It's kind of a recurring thing where I, be. I don't know if I'm trying to help her or what, but I never like change anything. I just like kind of feel bad for her sometimes. <laughs> That's actually fascinating. It's almost like lucid dreaming. Yeah, like it's you've weird. Kind of traveled. And then uh, you float it in. That's re- that's a good script yeah. idea. No. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See, bad ideas lead to good ideas. It's all good. That's true. Um, okay, so if people do want to check out your good ideas, where's the best places to see? Are you doing live shows and stuff now too? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm going to be in Cleveland this weekend oh, uh, at the at Hilarities out there uh, this Thursday through uh, Sunday. And then the next week, I'm in Kansas City, the Can- Comedy Club of Kansas City. Nice. The nice. following weekend. And then other than that, I have, uh, I'm really trying to like push my YouTube stuff. That's why I put all that stuff out there over the big break. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to be the next Jake Paul, but like likable. You know, be the like, nice like a, Jake Paul. It's all, yeah, nice it's a whole. Jake Paul. <laughs> so there's a lot of my stand up up there, clips of my podcast, um, other random vloggy type stuff that I've done. And yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So we'll link all that in the description of our YouTube video. And uh, we're on the Helium Podcast Network now. Um, so you can find this on Apple, 
uh, Spotify, all those things. Do the things you're supposed to, I don't know, subscribe here, follow Spotify, rate and review. I don't know. They all have a different, do the thing, whatever the thing is. Just do, yeah. I still call it iTunes. I I'm know. like, you us a rating on iTunes and they're like, it's a podcast app. And I'm like, it's, is it though? Yeah, right. Well, everyone knows what you mean. Yeah, well, then, you know what I meant. Yeah. I have, you know. My mom listens to these things, and so I'm like, it's iTunes, because she can't, you know, you can't change yeah. eventually. <laughs> Stop rebranding. Like, yeah. let a name just be the name, you know? Yeah, so we'll put your website and uh, your social media and everything will be linked, and give them a follow, check out the specials. Go see them live, though, obviously. See us live. That's that's yeah. wonderful. Check out uh, seedsandstees.com. Get some sweet plants. If you want to make a podcast, a uh, third wheel podcast studio here in Seattle is great. Or there's one in Los Angeles. And uh, w more this week, but we have a bit of a YouTube announcement that we'll have memberships now um, that'll allow you to get early access to these episodes, behind the scenes episodes, and then um, some of the higher tiers. I'm just going to put out full 45 minute sets. So, uh, yeah, there'll be news about that. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And there's plenty more. Go ahead. Keep watching Dumb Pitches. You're weird. Yes. <laughs>